Catastrophic events can wipe out entire neighborhoods and cost millions of dollars in property damage. But those with the resources and the fortitude to rebuild can end up with an even better house. In Napa, California, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake in 2014 pushed Jill and Steve Mathiason's house off its foundation. Their newly rebuilt home is bolted to the foundation with steel structural beams and has special circuit breakers that cut off power to the house in the event of an earthquake. In all, the project took about six months and cost $350,000. On New Jersey's Long Beach Island, Stephanie Lofgren and her husband Craig had to wait 18 months before they could start construction on their new vacation home after Superstorm Sandy struck in 2012. The new design of the house has more beach durable cedar cladding and incorporated materials like a fiberglass roof and stainless steel exterior components. The final square footage was 2,400 square feet instead of 2,900 square feet and the cost went down by about two thirds. In Houston, the Memorial Day flood of 2015 dumped more than a foot of water into Jennifer and Ben Deneen's basement. The couple and their two young children spent eight hours atop the kitchen counters until floodwaters receded. The next week, work started on a new five-bedroom house with a price tag of around $1 million. In Boulder, Colorado, Lynn and John Staz had only minutes to evacuate the home they'd lived in for almost 30 years during the Four Mile Canyon wildfire of September 2010. The new house they built two years later, which cost about a million dollars, has floor-to-ceiling glass and patios to take advantage of the expansive views that resulted after the fire wiped out the trees. After the fire, nearby families bonded over recovery efforts, going to community meetings about filing insurance claims and building codes. As she says, we lost our home, but we discovered community.